American Airlines is one of just a few carriers flying the new 737 MAX built here in Washington. But the technologically advanced jet is not getting high marks from some of Americans' passengers and flight attendants because of the bathrooms. The Los Angeles Times reports flight attendants are complaining because when both bathroom doors are open at the back of the plane, flight attendants are trapped in the galley. The airline says it's looking to fix that problem. And then there's the size. So here's a look at the bathroom from the manufacturer's website. Customers have complained the sinks are so tiny they can only wash one hand at a time. They're designed with a notch so that the last seat is right up against the wall of that bathroom you see there. And they're pretty small, 24 and a half inches wide by just under 40 inches deep by 77 inches high. So how small is that? I built a scale model out of cardboard in the newsroom this afternoon. This is the width of the bathroom, 24 and a half inches wide. News anchor loses left hand. Story at 11. <laughs> a toilet? Of a toilet on an airplane. What? Why? Just to bring it home for people. Now let's add the commode. <laughs> well. This is tight. You're like on the toilet trying to wash my hands. Mm -mm, Y'all need to fix this. Pretty tight. This is the whole restroom? Yeah. This is a, and you know, I'm a pretty big guy. <laughs> Here's our sink. Are you going to put a sink in there? Nice. Yeah. Kim, you travel a lot yeah. in your junkets. Give me your professional opinion of the size of this restroom. <laughs> it's cozy. <laughs> sit and wash your hands at the same time. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. So the manufacturers say the bathrooms, so they are made and manufactured by companies other than Boeing. Okay. The manufacturer says the bathrooms are designed to allow airlines to make more room for seats. So as many as six seats on some planes. I was going to ask how many more seats? Two? That is crazy. Yeah, and it, it, you know, if you're a parent and you're trying to change a child on the changing tables in there, I'm guessing that's going to be a, a, a challenge as well. Now, I, and I know Kim Holcomb. She's not a very wide person or mm -hmm. large person. What if you're, you know, large or heavy? Interesting. But on the flip side, you know, customers want the cheapest price possible on airlines. You know, they're getting more people on the planes. Oh, my goodness. So well, you've been warned. We have.